in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to calculate NDVI using QGIS and Landsat 8 images. Uh, to start with, NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. It is used, it is an index used to quantify vegetation greenness and is useful in understanding vegetation density and assessing the changes in plant health. Uh, usually, the NDVI ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, which means when it is high, that is positive, it means the plant is healthy. But when it is negative to zero, it means the plant is dead or not existing at all. For instance, if you look at this image, when the range is between 0 0.66 to 1, it means the plant is very healthy. When it is between 0 0.33 to 0 0.66, it means it is moderately healthy. When it is between 0 to 0 0.33, it means the plant is unhealthy. And when it is 0 to minus 1, it means the plant is dead or it is an object like water body or bare surface. So, normally, NDVI is calculated as a ratio between red and the near infrared values in traditional version, which means NDVI is equal to near infrared minus red all over near infrared plus red. And uh, if you are using Landsat, Landsat images, this is the band you use. In Landsat 4 to 7, NDVI is calculated as band 4 minus band 3 all over band 4 plus band 3. However, if you are using Landsat 8 to 9, NDVI is calculated as band 5 minus band 4 all over band 5 plus band 4. So now let's go to QGIS and do the calculation. So to do that, bring in your satellite images. That is the band we want to use. To do that, click on layer. Click on add layer. Click on add raster layer. So navigate to the folder where the raster is. So the images is here. So we are using Landsat 8. And in Landsat 8, we are using band 4 and band 5. Click on open. Then click on add. Click close. So I have band 4 and band 5 here. This is it, band 4, 4 and band 5. So what to do the calculation of NDVI? Come to raster and you open raster calculator. So when you open raster calculator, immediately the bands you have will be shown here. And uh, remember our formula that we are using band 8. And in band 8 is band 5 minus band 4 all over band 5 plus band 4. So having this in mind, what it means is that we are going to enter that formula here. However, let's navigate to our output where we want to save it. Uh, let's just save it as NDVI, NDVI1, for instance. Click on Save. So then here we enter that formula. And the formula to enter it, open a bracket and say band 5 minus band 4. Close the bracket divided by open a bracket again band 5 plus band 4 close the bracket then click on ok so the ndvi calculation is going on
yes the calculation is complete however let's uncheck this so that we can see our result yes this is our result this is it uh, as you see it is just a pseudo i mean a single gray color so we need to adjust it by going to property so that you can see the result very well however if you look at this place the ranges the answer we got ranges from minus 0 0.3 to plus 0 0.45 however we must put in consideration that the value you get also depends on the time of capture of this satellite image if you look here this satellite image was acquired in december and in this study area is nigeria december is a dry season so you don't expect greenness in dry season so if we use another satellite image that was captured during rainy season the value we will get will likely be different from this now what to do is to right click and come to the properties then here come under symbology so this rendering type instead of single band gray let's use single band pseudo color then you can choose your color ramp here and uh, instead of continuous let's say equal interval and let's use five classes so we can change the color here as well can change the color here the color ramp click on ok if you are not satisfied with this color you can choose another color so you and this very uh, negative value you can change it for example to water body color depending on you then apply to see click on ok so we can see our map this is the ndvi and it ranges from minus 0 0.3 to plus 0 0.45 so which means that the if you look at our image here we can see that the value we got ranges from moderately healthy to dead or no 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 plant at all so it means this area which is of course water body has the lowest which is minus minus and this greenish green patch is in the intermediate or middle then another thing you can do you can pick the identify tool if you pick it and click here for example you can see the value that it is the band the, the value is minus 0 0.22 and if you click here you can see the value that it is positive and if you should click here you can see the value here as well so in i've done a video previously where i explained in detail how to do this in arcgis you can watch it is in the description box but in essence this is how to do it in QGIS. i hope this video is helpful to someone please subscribe